Did I ever add a word game to this? I didn't. Hold on, I'll add entitled word game here. All right. You've never, you've only ever heard of this game because the box art is supposed to be amusing. I've never even heard of this game. Oh, by the way, I actually, wait, I forgot the manual. Wait, the manual. Hold on. I actually got the manual all ready too, to, to, to read. And I almost forgot. I almost forgot. We have to read the man for all these games. We got to read the manual. Otherwise, we don't get the full experience, right? Yeah, we can't skip the lore. Okay. Lore time. Shatterhand. Table of contents. We got warning, introduction, object of the game, getting started, controller functions, on-screen displays, the stages and the bosses, satellite robots, power-ups, scoring and continue features, game tips, and hotline. Well, there's a hotline for tips. Don't use with a front or rear projection TV. Read before using your NES. Oh, this has possible epileptic, epileptic seizures? Uh, okay. Good to know. Epileptic seizure warning. I skipped part of the warning. Which part? Don't use the projector. Should I, I should, probably should put an epilepsy, epilepsy warning in the title, huh? Ep, epilepsy warning. Oh, there we go. Why should you join the Jaleco Major Players Club? <laughs> Here's what you get if you join. Win free games. You'll be eligible to win free Jaleco games from our once a month uh, drawings. Find out about new games. Find out about new Jaleco games before they're released. Get in on special Jaleco com promotions and contestants, cont contests, and more. Test games before they're released. Hey, maybe we'll even ask you a few of you if you'd like to test Jaleco games before they're released. You could be selected as a, as a Jaleco major player. Here's what you get if you don't join. You get nothing. You don't if you don't join. The way the way they spelled nothing. <laughs> and there's only one way you can get in on all this good stuff. All, and it's, all it's going to cost you is a few moments of your time and the price of a postage stamp. Here's how to join. Find the Jaleco Major Players Membership Warranty Card enclosed in this package. Fill in the information requested on the card, put a stamp on the card, drop the card in the mail. That's right, all you gotta do is fill out a card, mail it to us, and you're in. Even if you've joined before, fill out the card and send it again. It will increase your chances of winning. Welcome to the club. So you, they allowed you to, like, test their games before they were released? They didn't have in-house, in-house people doing that? I'm really worried now. I'm really freaking worried. In the year 2030, medical technology develops to a point where missing limbs can be replicated. Hold on. You know what? We, you know what we need? We need, we need a voice for this. Here we go. This is Lisbeth. Introduction. 
In the year 2030, medical technology develops to a point where missing limbs can be replaced with cybernetic devices that replicate human movement and form with great precision. Working on a top secret military, pro military project, a large group of scientists create military uses for these new cybernetic limbs. Within that group of scientists, a handful of subversives unite. With world domination as their goal, these subversives collaborate covertly to create an army of cyborg soldiers. General Gus General General Gus Grover emerges as the leader of the group, and after plans are carefully made and an awesome assembly of cyborgs stands at the ready, the group begins open revolt. They became known as Metal Command. To combat the revolutionary movement, the Law and Order Regulatory Division is formed. L-O-R-D, Lord. Hmm. They put t another group of scientists together to come up with something to combat the cyborgs of the Metal Command. What comes of this group's research and development is a very special pair of hands. <laughs> a pair of hands? <gasps> These cybernetic attachments give the recipients the strength of a pile driver. They are capable of shattering metal on impact. There's only one problem. Without a willing recipient, these powerful hands cannot be used against the Metal Command. What the sorry. <gasps> Meanwhile, in the Bronx... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the Bronx, a young and highly decorated police officer named Steve Herman chases after the, one of the Metal Command cyborgs. The cyborg slows down, allowing Herman to catch up. Herman is puzzled by the apparent cooperation of the cyborg until he hears a crunch of metal on concrete behind him. He turns just in time to see a huge cyborg close in. Herman becomes a human sandwich between the two mighty cyborgs. They pull apart to determine if Herman is still alive, and despite crushed hands and ribs, Herman manages to run to freedom. Crushed hands and ribs and runs away. Wow. Wow. Several days later, after both of his completely crushed and needle little hands have been amputated, a lower official approaches Herman's hospital bed with a package under his arm. He identifies himself and opens the package. He picks up the contents and displays them to Herman. A pair of cybernetic hands. The strongest hands in the world. Now more motivated against the Metal Command than ever, Steve Herman accepts the cybernetic hands and the responsibility that goes with them. The cybernetic hands are attached and Herman spends the next two months recovering from his injuries. When he emerges from the hospital, he will be known as only Shatterhand to protect his true identity, Steve Herman. His mission, crush the rebellion with his bare hands. His bare cybernetic hands? Alright. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was fun. Um Okay, cool. With great hands comes great responsibility. Yep. All right, it's a high action game with eight directional scrolling. Oh wow. You control Shatterhand in his quest to find and defeat General Grover. Leader of the Rebellious Metal Command, you'll encounter all kinds of mechanical and biomechanical creatures and route whose sole purpose is to stop you at any cost. Your primary weapons are your cybernetic fist, and you will have to defeat most of your opponents by punching them. Cool. In addition, Shatterhand can block some enemy fire with his punches. You can get lots of help from any of the eight hovering satellite robots, each of which has a unique high-powered weapon that automatically fires whenever Shatterhand throws a punch. In order to obtain a satellite robot, you must collect any combination of alpha beta letters. They look like L and a B written in script that appear when you punch some of the white boxes scattered throughout each stage. For example, if you collect three B letters, you'll get a grenade firing satellite robot. Okay. There are eight possible combinations with two letters that you can collect, and each combination gives a different. Wow, this is a wow, that's pretty cool. Eight different combinations of letters? All right. 
As you play the game, you'll learn which satellite robot is most desirable for each stage. You'll also discover that when you have a satellite robot and you recollect the identical combination of letters required to get that robot, you'll transform into a powerful, heavily armored, invincible dynamo. Oh, wow. That sounds pretty strong. The game has seven stages. The first stage and the last stage must be played first and last respectively, but you can play the five middle stages in any order you wish. Stage select menu appears after you complete the first stage. The path to the final showdown with General Grover leads through a factory, a refinery, an anti-gravity research facility, a submarine, a burning subway, a filtration plant, and finally to General Grover's missile launch complex. Man, this, they're making this game sound awesome. Dude, this game sounds sick from the manual, just the manual by itself. This game sounds amazing. I'm really hoping that it keeps up. Can I please say Dynamo again? Dynamo. Why is it wrong? Am I pronouncing it wrong? Is it Dynamo? Is it Dynamo? Am I saying it wrong for you guys? <laughs> You'll discover anti gravity section, special power ups, gold coins to buy the power ups. Uh, secret areas that appear to be inaccessible until you punch certain walls, and dozens of exotic but deadly adversaries. You'll also discover the unique play control required to climb the many fences I'll encounter, you'll encounter throughout the game. I was saying it right, but it, please say Dynamo a few more times. It amuses you. <laughs> With its great... Man, look at, look at them hyping their own game. With its great graphics, great music and sound, and great action, we think Shatterhand packs one heck of a punch. Man, they are really, they're really talking themselves up. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do. All right. Controller functions. On screen. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to this if we have any questions. On screen displays. Um, lower left hand of the screen is your remaining life force with the letter L and the amount of gold. You, well, you get gold in this game. Gold is important because you can buy power-ups with it, as well as increase your overall score. At the top of the screen, you'll find the alpha beta boxes. When you punch some of the white boxes that appear in each level, a letter appears. Punch the box a second time to change the letter. Make contact with the letter to collect it. Okay, so you can change the letter. The letter will appear in one of many boxes at the top of the screen. When you have collected three letters, any combination, you'll get a hovering. Okay, all right. Uh, st seven stages in Shattered Hand. Right, we already got that. Uh, the stage select screen appears whenever you complete a stage or when you elect to continue after running out of lives. When you finally completed all five middle levels, you'll be given access to the final level. So there's continues in this game. How generous. How generous. Okay. So they got basically a Mega Man select screen here. Stage select. Factory area is A. Your search for... Okay, so we always go to uh, factory, I think, first. Because the first and last levels are not. Uh, so I wonder if we should be doing them in the order it appears in the manual. Or it doesn't matter. Look at all these areas. You'll have to earn a glimpse at General Grover, who has been conducting quite a few cybernetic experiments on himself. Uh, there are no save states. There's continues. <laughs> we don't use save states. You never heard of this game? How good could it be? You know, it could be really good. You never know. Sometimes there's some, some nice hidden gems in this, in, uh, in NES, old NES games. Many of the white boxes scattered throughout the levels turn into letters. Wait, we, we already got this. Uh, right. Okay, we already saw this. So this is the letter and combination description. We got the Yobo Bot, which is all L's. Fires a large bouncing ball that retracts like a yo-yo. Fires a laser beam. Sword bot swings the lethal sword. Oh man, we gotta try the sword bot out. Uh, Rico bot fires balls that ricochet. Grenade bot fires grenades. Pyro bot shoots a long flame. Uh, yo yo bot fires a ball that retracts like a yo yo. Wait, isn't that wasn't that BLB? Yobo bot and yo yo bot. They're both very similar. And bounce bot fires a bouncing ball. Oh, no, this one fires a bouncing ball that retracts. So this one is a bouncing ball also. But this is just a ball. This one doesn't bounce. There are seven different types of power-ups. However, only each one costs money. 
So be sure to collect the gold coins that appear when you destroy certain enemies. The power-ups appear as platforms with a number on the front. The number tells you how much it costs to use the power-up. Make Shatterhound crouch on the platform to collect the power-up. If you don't have enough gold, nothing will happen. The number will disappear from the front of the platform if you have collected the power-up successfully. Here's a picture and description of each power-up. Uh, restore Shatterhand's health. Doubles, I can barely see these. Double the, the power of Shatterhand's punches and give you an additional life. Okay. Extra life, more health, and uh, the power, uh, attack, extra attack power. Uh, after each stage, you complete your score is displayed. The score is based on how many enemies you have defeated, how much gold you have, and how, many, how much life you have left when you complete the level. When you run out of lives, the game over screen appears. When it does press start, this brings up this continue end option. Selecting continue goes back to the stage select screen. You have an unlimited number of continues. Oh, wow. We could actually just beat this tonight, then. It's very possible we just beat this tonight. Okay, if we have a problem, or if we, we, we have a problem with the cartridge, or if we're having uh, problems understanding how to play the game, we can call the Deleco Major Players Hotline. Between 8.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday. Ah, that sucks. It's Saturday. And it's well past 5 p.m. I guess we're not going to be able to use this, unfortunately. Um, yeah. Un unfortunate. No, no, no cheating by calling the major players hotline. Very sad. This is somebody's full-time job answering that hotline. I know. Normal telephone charges apply when you call the hotline number. It is not toll-free call. Kids, get your parents or major guardians permission to call before dialing the Jaleco Major Players Hotline. Did I put major, guard put major in front of guardian? <laughs> your major guardian, as opposed to your minor guardian. Don't be getting the minor guardian's permission. It has to be the major one. <laughs> uh... And we this got no a thing for notes here. All right. All right. Very cool. Major Guardian sounds like a sick game. Just tried calling that number. It is not an active number. You guys fail. won't be beating this tonight. Oh, no. It's, it's not open anyway. Look, it's only 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. It's Saturday, you guys. I can't, I can't call it. Yeah. Unfortunate. I guess we're just not beating it. We're not, we're not good enough at the game. All right. Let's have this open over here on the side. Uh, I'm gonna move some windows around. I would like, you know what I'd really like? I'd really like something that gives me an automatic button that lets me open windows and, and, and put them in specific spots for when I have certain scenes open. It would be really useful. I mean, I'm sure I could make that button, but uh, it'd be easier if I had some API to hook into. All right. That took a while. We got another we got another break in five minutes. Also, why is the um wait, why is the commercial thing not showing anymore? Oh, it's because I moved the window. Huh. All right. I guess I'll open another window for it. Oh, I, I can't have two open at once. Sad. All right, that's fine. Whatever. It'll just have to be on the side. I, will, I won't be able to, like, have a good look at it. I'll have to, like, look over to the other screen to look at it myself. So you guys are going to have to keep a better eye on it than me. Uh, I'm going to fill this up before we start and uh, take, a, take the ad break now so that we can, uh, we can get it out of the way. So I'll, I'm going to do that, and then we're going to start as soon as I come back.
All right. Can we have a button on my end that fixes my layout when I break it? Is it broken? It's not broken. It would really depend on what was wrong with it, right? Can we have a button to get rid of the white pixels flickering on my mic and my shirt? Soon. They'll be gone. Dude, look at this movie! Dude, this, this, this game has a movie at the start! Look at me! Look at him shooting! Hold on, I wanna reset this. We gotta reset this. Hell yeah, block those bullets with your fists. Dude, that's awesome. You can't tell me that's not awesome. That's sick. Dude, for an NES game? That's so cool. Ready? Go. Alright. Oh man, this guy's got a combo. There's no audio? Okay, hold on, we can fix that. Wait, you guys heard that whole thing with no audio? All right, how's that? You guys hear the audio? All right, reset, reset. You guys gotta hear the audio too. No time or two? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. You guys have points. I'm not ready here. Obviously, I am... Very bad. I'm a bad streamer. Okay. Here, I'm gonna make Wordle smaller. Make room for the timer. Yeah. Honestly, graphically, this looks like something that would be made today in an imitation of an NES game, so pretty impressive. It actually looks amazing. It looks amazing. you think this would be better because we're just starting Retro Fever and the kinks would be ironed out, but they won't be? We'll still be doing this a year from now? No. Hopefully I'll be able to, like, get some automatic starts and stuff for things. Have I looked at the cover art yet? No. We did read the manual, though. All right, so there's combos here. You can do a bam. Look at that, look at that combo. Uh, let's go B. Oh yeah, just- let's destroy all the shit. Let's go. I want all Bs. Dude, so far? Dude, just- just based on the first level, this is sick. Uh, this costs a hundred for extra power. Alright, sure. Uh, what is this? What did, what did that do? Ah! Uh. uh, B! Hell yeah! Oh, shit! Yeah, fuck him up.
Oh, what? There's grenades in there? They didn't say there's gonna be any traps in the white boxes. Uh, let's get a health refill, sure. Uh, let's go B again. I want to see what the super-powered mech thing is. Wait, did it, my satellite die? I didn't know your satellite could die. Oh shit, you can cling to the- you can cling to the edge! What? Oh, you can- no, it's not the edge, it's the grate behind you! Dude! How have I never heard of this game? This game is sick! Yeah, dude, I love it how he like after you wind up a bunch you just do the strong punch over and over again That's pretty cool You wanted to request this game for an insanity so bad, but we played Ghostbusters instead. We got the boss. Oh shit. Oh dang, he can freaking cling to the walls too? Wait, can I do that? Oh, I, no, I can't. I can only cling to the grates. Honestly, I just, I don't know how I've never heard of this game. This game is like, insanely cool. Dude, just the first level is awesome. Let's fucking go. Area A cleared. Ghostbusters was something, not something you'd pick, but it was something. Alright, so... We've got five levels here. Let's go with the factory. Reminds you of Mega Man? Yeah, a little bit. It, it, it's like Mega Man ahead of its time, though. There's like an intro stage and everything. Intro stages before Mega Man had intro stages? Parallax scrolling? Freaking grenades. Man, that guy is rough. Dude, the guy took my life. Oh, 
hot, dang it. Okay, this is the way to kill this guy. <laughs> uh, that's the way to do it. Every song in this game is kick-ass. Dude, this, this, you're not wrong. So far, everything's been, like, top fucking notch. Except grenades and boxes. That's the opposite of cool. <laughs> Freaking grenades. No, I'm gonna die. And dead. This is not good. Mm. Checkpoints! They got checkpoints in this game. Oh, fucking grenade! I know that's a grenade, why did I open it? Open the trap box again. Damn it, I keep I keep missing my jump there. Open things in games because you can't help yourself. It's true. Why do I keep swimming in the fire? Uh, I don't know. I like to swim in the fire. I'm just gonna jump over that guy. Grenade. The boxes must be open. Oh, I made the jump this time. Ah! Don't touch the enemies!
I forgot about the grates. You want me to give me a small tip? No, that's okay. I'll, I, I got it. Fills the satellite robot's health too. Nah. for a hundred? Okay. I just turned away a donation? That's not the kind of tip that Super Unknown was talking about. Get fucked! Wait, is it over? It's not over. Ah, uh, no! Dude, these bosses have phases! How is this game so good? Arms seem short. We're fine. <laughs> Somehow getting inside it like made it like mess up its AI. What level next? I feel like we need to add this music to the opening intro music. The playlist. Oh, this is like an ice level.
Dude, it's so weird. The momentum of my punches actually pushes me backwards when I'm on the ice. The big punches. Little punches too, but just not as much. I'm gonna need a health refill soon. Damn. One thing I will say is that the death animation is kind of weird. I feel like it could be a little bit more impactful. It's a little long and there's not much impact to it as well. Oh, hell yeah. Sword bot. Dude, sword is sick. No, I don't know what this one was. I kind of want to try to get the uh, the thing. This one was uh, Swordbot is LBL. The, P the NES had uh, built-in music hardware. It did. But I think it was messed up, wasn't it? Which is why a lot of music for the NES didn't sound good. Something something was weird about it. No! Well, at least we can get another sword bot. Those guys are rough. Oh, I didn't pick up the coin. LBL, we got a sword bot back. Dude, sword bot is sick. A different, a different thing than Swordbot would be actually really helpful here. Anything that has a projectile would be very, very, very helpful here. I'd be able to jump and shoot. Robo War excavation. I don't know what that bag does. Uh, that water looks dangerous. But there's no other way apparently, so... Okay.
No! No, I didn't see the missile! Shit. Is that game over? Yeah, that's game over. That's fine. That was really bad. Yeah, I'm- I was so dead. Strongest hands in the world, not the strongest face. <laughs> Bit of a glass jaw. It's okay. My god. Maybe this will help kill them faster. That's a, that's a huge upgrade. I didn't actually want the sword one. Kind of slid into it. Jump! Bad. Does this game live up to the hype of the manual? It absolutely does. This game is awesome. I would actually put this as a recommend. So far. Like, I would recommend this game to, pl to people. I think I lost my power. I, I only have a green shirt now. Yeah, I definitely lost it. Let's try LBB. Oh, it's this one. Okay.
This bot is really good. Allowing hitting from really far away. I wonder if that fills up my robot's health too. BB. This makes me invincible, right? Hell yeah, let's go. This is sick. That is a sick, sick bonus power up. I love it. LBB. Oh, mine. I guess the thing that looks like a mine is probably gonna be a mine. Oh shit. Fuck! I needed a health. Even though you're invincible, you still don't want to just face dang everything because the timer goes down faster. There are some records on speedrun.com in the last few months of this game. Man, I lost all my continues. That was my last. Wow, this level's uh, hard. This level's harder than the last one for sure. Dying on the first part is not very good.
So I don't know if the power has a time limit or... I think it's when you get hit, you lose the power. Or when you get hit, like... A certain amount of time after getting the power or something. The, yeah, I'm talking about the red shirt, not the dynamo. Hit me. Did the manual not tell me things? This game looks cool. The manual told me things. No health refill. Oh, this is gonna be rough. Do I wanna know those what, what those bags are? Oh, I probably read it in the manual and forgot. Yeah, what what are the bags? got a sword if you keep punching the bags you get gold oh, okay Dude, I haven't really run out of gold though I feel like I get I, I get plenty of gold It does not seem like it has a good opportunity to hit him without like a robot friend. I tried jumping there. I guess I messed it up.
Oh, that pushes them away. Okay. Okay, that's different. Alright, I didn't realize it would, like, stun them. Saga 2 of these fists are rated E for everyone. I don't think I'm gonna beat it, this guy this game over. I'm gonna have to get back here. Unless he's almost dead. He is flat. He just started flashing. I swear if it wasn't Ryu, Fail tried this game on recommendation just before he started in insanity or something. I wasn't it wasn't me. Fuck, I knew it, man. I need to play a little bit more carefully there. Maybe it's you get hit three times and you lose it. You lose the red shirt. Yeah, I think it's get hit three times and you lose it. All right. I feel like LBB is really good for this level. I don't think I'm gonna be using anything else for this level. This obviously AAA developer also made ga games including Heroes of the Lands, Scat, Spanky's Quest, Pocket and Rocky, and Taligator. You know, I haven't heard of these guys either. Of these games either. Pocket and Rocky is amazing. Not just amazing, fucking amazing. Uh, 
Uh, I did not. Nice. Well, now I know what that's for. Pocket Rocket is one of the hardest games you've ever played. Doesn't sound like a hard game. Usually that's where I get the, uh, mecha suit. <laughs> Extra life for 2,000! Give me that! How did I miss that? I missed that before because I was always rushing with the mecha suit. Oh shit, do I get the mecha suit while I'm fight the boss? Dude, sick. Dude, I wasn't ready for him to start doing the mines again. Shit. He usually goes four times, doesn't he? Could have sworn he did four times before. Dude, sometimes he doesn't have a he doesn't have a what uh, any knockback every once in a while.
It's usually when he's doing the mines. Maybe I should just stop trying to hit him when he's doing the mines. Most of the time when I get hit like that, it's because I jumped too high. Sometimes he's got a really low, uh... Low slide over. Oh, nice. Got him. Unless there's a phase two. There was a phase two in the first boss. No phase two. Not every boss gets a phase two. All right. And good to know. Have I looked at this yet? No, I haven't seen the cover art yet. Let's see. Holy shit, that cover art is awesome. Dude, what? That cover art is sick. It's so 80s. I love it. It's so 80s NES, I know, right? Just some dude on the cover punching. <laughs> That's the reason you haven't heard of this game before? Yeah. Cover art used to be a bigger deal, I think, than it is now. Now people can look at trailers and stuff. Shit, dude. These enemies, though. Oh my god, dude. These enemies are rough. You enthusiastically loving that cover art has you asking yourself if you can actually take me seriously? What are you talking about? It's like, it's peak 80s. It's, yeah, exactly. It's the and it's in the so bad it's good category. That freaking grenade right before the hell. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh shit. Out there it goes. This is fucked. Oh, I thought the gears in the background hurt me. Those are background gears, though. Did the gear hurt me? I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I didn't see anything else that hit me. Splash damage? Nope, the gears hurt. That is fucked. <laughs> what is that part? What is that, dude? Holy shit. That happened right before the ad started, too. That was good timing. Was I supposed to be killing the sliding thing on the elevator? Do I have unlimited continues? Yeah, unlimited continues. I don't know. So here's the thing. If I was supposed to be killing the sliding thing on the elevator, then um, that requires a robot friend. And you might not have a robot friend, so that could be a soft lock. Yeah, that's rough though. Level is pretty brutal. Why does the EU have two different cover arts? Where one where he is silver, the other where he's red? I don't know. Maybe they were like, this cover art's not working for us.
We're talking about how inconsistent Mega Man cover art was, by the way. Oh, Mega Man, Mega Man 1 cover art was the best, right? I didn't notice. I was too busy fighting for my life, you guys, to notice that you were talking about Mega Man cover art. <laughs> Dude, Mega Man, the first Mega Man, though, had the best cover art, right? <laughs> Ugly Mega Man. It was pretty terrible. Box art disparity, NES. Uh, yo, Go Sagan! Thank you for the 71 months! We need to get failed to learn Unity. What's up, man? Dude, Mega Man, the first Mega Man box art is so bad. But, but here's the thing, Mega Man 2 box art is sick. The, the, well, wait, wait, the Mega, what's that? Is the Mega Man 2 box art for the EU in the middle? The left Mega Man 2 box art was so good. Uh, I did not, I don't think I played DuckTales in Nest Sanity, did I? How's your Unity development coming anyway, Gosegan? The USA box art has him holding a pistol for Mario Maker 2. Yeah, I know, I know he's holding a pistol, but it's still really cool box art. Like even if it even if it has him holding the pistol and doesn't have the the, the cannon ha uh, hand, it's still cool as hell. I mean, he's shooting at Quick Man, you know, and then you got Crash Man in the background. It's pretty sick. I I'd, I'd say the the middle box art. I think that's the EU. Is that the EU box art? Looks pretty bad. The silver in the silver. Oh no, that so the Japanese box art's great. Japanese box art is on point. This is no game. Contra is a crazy one. In Europe, those guys were robots. It's not the EU box art because the EU didn't exist yet. Oh, of course not. Why? <laughs> the 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 European box art. <laughs> It's still EU, right? It's European. EU is European. Can you show? Uh, yeah, hold on. Uh, here we are. So here you can see, you know, oh, let me get you guys on screen. Uh, boom. So here you can see Mega Man 2 box art right here. See, the NA box art, the US box art is so, it's good, okay? You can't tell me that this box art, I mean, maybe Mega Man does not have, he's holding a pistol and he doesn't have a cannon, but this box art is sick box art, okay? This box art is lame as hell. This PAL box art, this silver one, terrible. Red? A little bit better. It looks like there's two for, for PAL. This one is a little bit better, but still I prefer NA and, and Japan. Japan has great box art. It's got all the freaking robot masters. You got like all the enemies on, on the box art, like just hanging out there. Like it's 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 got it's great. You have Dr. Wily's castle in the background. This one is probably the best one, right? This one is probably the best, the best box art. But this one is is like a close second. If this, if he had, if he had a cannon instead of a pistol, it'd be sick. It'd be pretty fucking sick. Mega Man 3. Okay, this one is funky as hell. This. <laughs> Mega Man 1 box art? Oh, that's just, that's just the amazing stuff. Like, look, look, this right here. <gasps> I love this one. It's like an ugly Mega Man, dude. He's so bad. It's so bad. It's like, how did this game sell at all? It had to have been just word of mouth. Word of mouth was just so good that it overcame the box art. <laughs> you own that physical box as your pride and joy. Yeah. 
And then e, the E, the, uh, the PAL box art looks, um... It's better than the NA, but it's still pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. Mega Man looks all skinny. He looks like a guy in a suit. This is, this looks like a guy in, like, spandex suit. <laughs> That's what it looks like. And maybe, like, some bits and pieces. Like, covering the, the, the knees and stuff. Pogging realistic Mega Man is kind of curse. <laughs> Uh, Rockman 3, you know, I, I don't think this box art is as good as Rockman 2. Rockman 2 box art probably beats this one. And I definitely think Mega Man, like, even though Mega Man 2, he's holding a pistol, I think this box art is better than this box art. Like, without a doubt. Even though this is a more accurate with the, with the canon Mega Man. Oh, this is an interesting way. This looks like a this is like a fucking movie poster. This this Mega Man 3, doesn't it? This one from the PAL with like Dr. Wily and his like spiky hair in the background. This looks like they were like it was supposed to be a movie or something. Dude, I could I could actually just scroll through this like just like commenting on the box art. <laughs> this is this is really cool. All right. Either way, let's let's get back to the game. I, I I got NES games to beat, and I can't just be hanging out here on stream. We gotta beat these games. We can't just be commenting on box art the whole time. <laughs> as much as as fun as it is, as fun as it is. <sighs> All right. Back to the fire level. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think, like... <laughs> I've discovered some good content back to the shitty gameplay. No, we can come back to that later. We can definitely come back to, the, to that later. I, I don't want to, like, leave that hang- I don't want to leave that hanging. I shouldn't have jumped there. I should have waited one more. I forgot that was a grenade. Lemonster submitted that le Mario Maker level to Ara. Ara's playing it now. Ara will probably beat it. It. 
This, this uh, enemy is annoying. I feel like it takes too many hits. To take just four. I know it would be with a red shirt, but I think they should take four with a green shirt. So how am I supposed to do this? Oh. Wait. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, alright. It's just a waiting thing. Too bad I can't heal here. Nice! We got... Dude, we got the freaking invincible robot win right there. Sick. <clears throat> Let's go to the submarine next. Dude, I think face taking was a strat there because it allowed me to get as many po uh, hits possible in with the invincible robot, which I think does an insane amount of damage. So it's like worth it to take a few extra hits and lose the suit faster. Ah. It's worth it to take a few extra hits and lose the suit faster. Uh, a little bit faster than it is to, uh... To just try to avoid getting hit. three times.
Uh, is that a, like an alien baby? Dude, what the hell is this enemy? Oh god, there's like aliens and shit. I'm starting to get their pattern a little bit. Ah. Damn it! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> oh, man. No, I think jumping over that guy is the strat. Oh hell yeah, laser! Okay, I'm- I'm getting my ass handed to me in this area. Completely handed to me. Holy shit, dude. Hopefully there's an extra life in this level. grenades in a row. Dude, that thing is so tanky. Power sure makes a huge difference, it really does. Damn, dude. I'm getting wrecked. This sub level is fucking hard. It's really hard.
The music for this level is a bit of a Castlevania vibe for it. Nice. Didn't even get hit there. This one, the grenade. Damn, I lost my red shirt. The way bosses flash when near death reminds you of Ninja Turtles. Dang. No extra life. Oh, I don't think I could afford it anyway. Oh god. Is there going to be a phase two? No phase two. All right. We've only had one phase two so far of all, all the, all, uh, all the bosses so far. We fought five and there's been one phase two. Kind of interesting how only one had it.
All right, last level. And I can't afford the POW. Okay, now I can. You hope I start Road Rush tonight? It won't be tonight. It'll be tomorrow. It's a little, even, even now, it's a little late to start Road Rush tonight. Even if I finish this game soon. Ads. Oh, we got ads in a minute. You know, I think this is, I only have one life anyway. I should probably just die. Which I'm, it's gonna happen no matter what. Road Rash is the next, is it? Mega Man is? I am choosing to do the rigged in place of my pick uh, at my discretion. Wait, I thought I had one life left. Yeah, we can, we can definitely do marbles after this. Uh, oh, I have multiple lives. All right. Well, let's just pause here. We got a two minute break. I needed to, to get up and stretch anyway. I'll be right back.
All right. You wish you had ads right now, so the way it would be less boring. I, that's the first time I've heard someone wish for ads. <laughs> Phil is like you're gonna be. Oh, that's right. You you are gonna be gone, Vax. I forgot. I can I can do my game next. It doesn't have to be yours. Like again, it's at my discretion. So if you want me to uh, to wait, I can wait. Dude, these falling rocks suck. Ah. Dude, they're everywhere! Wish to do Keen Forest fails next pick? You know, I don't think I can handle another Keen game at the moment. Yeah, Keen Four is one of Chelsea Asics picks. We got a vertical climbing section. Sometimes a sword is like super clutch. Gravity upside down. Okay, this is kind of neat level. There goes my power. The game knew you loved Upside Down. It was kind of a different Upside Down than Mario Maker though. Not everything that's Upside Down. It's just you. Damn, I knew I was dead there. Oh, there was a health! If I could have held on for just a little longer. At least in the NES games with the dignity not to fuck with your controls when things went upside down. True.
Any of you guys ever played POW? Keen 4 does seem to have some fantastic move music. Can't say you have. It's a pretty cool beat em up for the NES. Music isn't great, bad solar spark. Oh, for Keen 4? You piece of shit. I should have known it was gonna be a grenade. Oh shit. Looks like you can switch now. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, that's fucked up. Fail should be banned if it's not fantastic. You didn't say fantastic? Did I just read it wrong? Dude, you, you, you can switch, but you, you actually, uh, you have no choice switch. Every single time you press X there, you just go up and down. Fuck the rocks. Am I right? I feel like this is the worst part of this level. Is dealing with these rocks. Saved it, but the rock got me. To let you learn, the NES controller has an X button. You didn't know that? is constantly getting hit by the rocks. Robot friend doesn't know how to not get hit by rocks. 
I don't think it's gonna last very long. Told you guys, the robot's already dead. No, let's just face tank it all. There you go. Just like that. This is no game. It's probably premature to come to conclusions, but you feel like Retro Fever is off to a strong start. I think so too. <laughs> And thank you. Thank you for the bits. I say, let's just face take it all, which is what I was already doing. Let's see if I think that after the other Keen games. I don't know, I think it's I think it's going pretty well. And I think it's going to get better over time too. You know? I hope it gets better over time. It'll get w better until we run out of gives good gifts to pick and then it'll get worse. Nah. You got th there's always going to be a tons of good games to pick. And bad games. Is Adventure on my list of 2600 games? Yes. Adventure and E.T. are the two that are definitely on my 2600 list. Those are the only two though. Ah! Suck it, spiky ball.
You don't think 25% of the Nest Library is good? I think, uh... There's gonna be plenty of games that are bad, and that's fine. I don't think I'm gonna play 25... Like, I don't think every game I play for the NES is gonna be amazing. Like this. That'd be delusional. But I think the vast majority of games are gonna be okay, you know? Oh, shit. RPGs and S Sanity were great. Uh, hello? Do you guys see that? That was bullshit. Go. We got an extra life right before the boss, so I'm gonna at least get um, to fight him with full health at once. Yeah, just once. I'm just gonna dodge everything that I can here. Well, I didn't. I didn't get to do much. All right. Wow, that looks hard. No, Sassic picked Sonic Spinball. I could play that. Also play that X if I didn't feel like Big Renee yet. True. Oh shit, dude. Okay, this this boss is pretty cool. The fact that he can reverse gravity on you, that's that's neat. I don't know how to dodge that. Having a robot friend here is definitely hurting me. Was rough. That that positioning was probably the worst he could have done. That's really sucks. Very unfortunate. Yeah, they give you a lot of time to prepare. I think maybe what I needed to do was duck in the corner and and punch the bullet.
Dude, this beginning part... This beginning part is so hard. There's no way I make it. Not your first pick, but Shadowgate 64 does exist. I hate starting one life down. This is like, it's constant. Dude, how did that miss? Always forget. This is an interesting one. I don't usually get this one very much. This was what, B BLB? Beta? No, I think it's BLB. You could really go for a BLT? BLTs are tasty. I could go for one too. in about a minute and a half.
Big lettuce and tomato, yeah. Okay. This is kind of a good boss for, or a good robot for this guy. If I could aim it, it would be a lot better. Oh, I'm dead. I forgot about the ad warning. I forgot about the ad warning. It's okay, I died. Crap. Glad I for glad I died there. Pause. I've got two lives. I got two lives to work on this guy. Two whole lives. All right, we ready? Okay. Now we we can continue. <laughs> can I notice? No, I haven't. I haven't tried the LLL combo. No, not yet. And I didn't hit. That's the worst. Why do you sometimes gra swap gravity at will? It's the boss's move. The boss allows you to swap gravity. Damn. Remember when the idea behind the hey command was so I'd notice it and we couldn't get your attention? We need something that does that again.
damn it. Fuck! I think when the background is red, that's when I can switch at will. Oh no, I only got two hits left. Oh no. Oh no. No! <laughs> no! I did not have to die there. I should have beat him the second try. Ah, dang, now we gotta go all the way back. Rock every single time gets me. Screw that rock. Can you please just do better? I can't. Well, that was the best I've done in the f on the first try in this part. A, B, one more B. I hate how this robot sits into the front of me. It always ends up getting hit.
You thought that was L this whole time? Oh, I'm, I'm shit. My bad. Yeah, you're right. L L B. Okay, I can do this. Dude, this robot's really good for this guy. You get off so many hits. Wow, this uh this robot's pretty crazy. Alright, one more. No stage selecting anymore. Stage select screen in this game is pretty epic. It feels like everything in this game is pretty epic. How's my lives? Oh, I have three.
No, I didn't see the bullet. There was a health right there. Shit. No. Fire hurts you. Do you guys know that? That is fucked. What if it's healing fire? I don't think it's healing fire. If only we could be so lucky. This level has a lot of enemies in really awkward spots. Next Marbles winner can choose an RPG. Very true. Dude, I don't want to go down there. We're gonna get invincible armor. It's got like a boss rush just like Mega Man at the in the end. Or at least at least I think there is gonna be a boss rush.
This is bad. That was on purpose as damage boost. Yes. These are all damage boosts. You're not sure why people like Battletoads? I fucking love Battletoads, what are you talking about? Battletoads is a, is a really, really good game. Don't hate on Battletoads. Give Battletoads Infinite continues and it's instantly one of the best NES games. Yup. Such a huge disadvantage of this game to not have power-ups for the boss battles, yeah. But not, not having power-ups is just a huge disadvantage in general. Thank <laughs> you. 
Holy shit, that jump is kind of hard. Fucking brutal. This level is actually brutal. All right, let's take a pause here. Just don't lose half your life in one jump, and you'll be fine. Yeah. I need to get better at the jumping parts, for sure. Yeah, early ad pause because it was coming up in two minutes, so might as well just do it, right? By the way, I gotta say, I'm looking at my NES background and it's freaking clean. This is a this is pretty clear. If I do if I do say so myself, you know, toot my own horn a little bit, it's it's pretty clean. And he has best background is the best one. Yeah, I think so too. No, this is not with the new camera yet. No. I think the SNES background is great too, but you know, I guess we'll we'll see. No, I have the USB cable. We're waiting on the mount because there's I I, I after feeling the heft of the camera itself, there's no way I'm trusting it to that webcam mount that I have. the The mount is almost here though. It'll be here soon. When the new camera is hooked up, you won't have to ask. Yeah, I, I actually think that you won't. We did a little preview of it. We have we have a little preview. We did a little preview uh, session with the camera. Just tried it out, and it looks in, it looked incredible. Like it's funny. We we actually put the uh, the the camera in front of the webcam, right? So it was just looking at the at the uh, the LCD screen, and it looked better just with the webcam looking at the LCD screen. It looked better. <laughs> it is, it's pretty funny, right? It's pretty funny. Anyways, all right, we can we can start again. Dude, I always get hit at this beginning. This, this is brutal. I don't know how you're supposed to do this part without getting hit. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna die. I already lost a life here. I'm gonna die and continue again. Not worth.
One other thing that's brutal about this level is I don't think there's checkpoints in this level, at least not so far. I have not made a Sega background yet. It's on my my agenda though. Probably something I'll do tonight after this stream. Come on. Oh, he almost killed my little robot friend. So I don't know, maybe that's a checkpoint? I hope that's a checkpoint. It should be a checkpoint after beating one of the bosses. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. I should have just taken a hit going through the spike guy. Holy shit, yeah, that was not a checkpoint, so... This is brutal. I'm not sure what power-up I should have on that... that section. It's definitely not this one. How do you make this jump without getting hit by the fire? This doesn't look possible. I don't think I can do this without getting hit. I know, I'll find a way to get hit twice. Uh, so that, is, that is exactly how I think. Try a different gun in the next area. Okay, that looks like it's the laser.
Dude. The manual actually says any combination of alpha and beta letters, they look like an L and B written in script. That's where I got L from. Blame the manual. sucks. Yeah, I, I, I know what the alpha, I know what the, the different combos do. I know what some of them do anyway. Bouncing yo-yo, BBB grenades, flamethrower. I haven't tried AAA yet, I don't think. I guess it's time to give it a shot. Okay, this one fucking sucks.
The fucking wall. probably very good against some of the bosses that appear to hit super fast. Probably. Dude, they really made this last level fucking brutal. What, what is this? This was BBA? How do you aim this thing? I do not like the flamethrower. It goes against like what you want to do. So like my attack is to rapidly fire, right? But the flamethrower wants me to stand still and hold the B button. And unless the damage is worth it, like the damage and the, uh, and the ability to hit things is worth the trade off of not being able to use my primary weapon, it's just not worth using. So it, it just be, it's just like a garbage just like a garbage uh, ability.
BAA seems pretty good for this area, but I don't think it's going to be good for the boss. Dude, that boss, I, I don't know how to beat him. I don't know how to fight him. It's unfortunate because I used the big mecha suit on him the first time. Maybe I can use the big mecha suit again. Tried reading any of the signs at the start. Maybe they tell you how best to beat them. There are no signs. This is not Commander Keen. side and even if he tried to read it and even if he eventually correctly translated it he would still misinterpret it and tap force fed in the solution uh so here's the thing about what happened in commander keen i tried i tried uh going over the way that i did at the beginning i just didn't know you could jump on the cloud And because I tried it already, I'd already written it off in my mind, and I didn't remember there was a cloud up there. I actually don't like the laser. A laser is A A B. I think what I'm looking for is A B B. the correct thing once and then writing it off and then trying the incorrect thing 50 times is my personal fail stream favorite 
<laughs> this is no game. Uh, I heard, I heard, Hiki Type. I'm glad I gave up on it. I hate this part. Okay, from now on, I'm just taking damage on that jump. Fuck it. I'm not gonna try to not take damage. I end up not trying not to take damage, and then I end up taking five damage. Count the number of power-ups between here and the and the second boss. be a good time to take an intentional game over. Maybe. Right, this is one. That's two. I need to get the power suit right before the boss. I'm pretty sure that's just what I need to do. So, what was the count? Three? This is four?
Then I also can't lose the the power or the, the guy on this boss, right? I feel like it's I'm gonna have to like take damage to help my companion not take damage. Or take this boss really slow. So, we were at four, this is five. Seven. There's seven power ups. So for that last power up is the last power up is after the first boss. Did I miscount? I probably did. Or beat the horrible level. I think I just got the flamethrower. Son of a bitch. Whatever. I'm I'm so mad that I got the flamethrower, it doesn't even matter. Two, okay, so you know what? My count was right. My count was right. I had two boxes filled at the end because I started with one box. Yeah, they carry over between lives, but not continues. Which is probably gonna have to be part of my strategy.
Dude, I don't know what they want from you at that jump. I cannot get it. Also, I don't see how. I, I need a, a different... I need a different power up here. Or I can't keep this guy. Or... No, I need... You know what I need? I need to come in here with two, I think. Come in here with two power-ups, because I think there's five after this. Is that right? Some of these sections are just outright unfair. Damn, dude. I suck at this. Okay, the grenade actually is pretty damn good. I'm gonna try to uh, use the grenade. That's the laggiest hay you've ever seen. Are you the protagonist or the antagonist in this game? The protagonist. We might need to buy me a new computer too. Why do you say that? I don't think I, I even if I that was true, I don't think I need a new computer. My motherboard is actually fine. 
I could just, uh, I could do with a graphics card upgrade. Probably a processor upgrade as well, but... I actually don't know if my socket type for the processor is still uh, in common use. I, 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 mean, I didn't look at processor upgrades for my motherboard. I just looked at graphics card upgrades. things in the computer, yeah. Oh, I finally did that without getting hit. Intel i7 6400 I think The motherboard is um God, what is it again? No! Oh my god, I fucking fucked it up. I needed that B. I left boss two. I left boss two with two Bs. I missed one B. So I'd have two Bs right now. So I actually need to get through boss one with with my robot intact. God, that's gonna be rough.
Oh, please. Please be the end. Not the end. Some of these sections, it just looks impossible to get hit, to, to not get hit. Ugh. Please be a fucking checkpoint at least. Please be a checkpoint at least. This is ridiculous. What the shit, man? This is just like that Archer level. That I say Archer level, but that level I played earlier today that Archer just beat. Just a never-ending gauntlet with no checkpoints or anything. It's so funny because this game was so lenient before, right? This game was extremely lenient before. Then all of a sudden it's just like, nope, fuck you. boss's pattern more like I figured out the right oh no I don't want that I figured out the right uh, stuff to use on him Now I need to make sure my little guy does not get hit, so I have to use my Grenadier. I can't get close. soon. Dude, the grenades do seem like the best weapon overall.
I hate this jump. I fucking hate this jump. I think this is gonna be it. We're gonna stop here. I thought I thought maybe after seeing like how easy the previous part of the game was, I'd be able to beat this tonight. But I I need to go to bed. It's one one in the morning. It's one in the morning. So we're gonna pause. Sadly, uh, we did not we did not quite make it. Maybe more like eight years for Retro Fever? Yeah, maybe. I one-shot the game. If I one-shot I one the game, I need to change the name of the channel anyway. I suppose. Alright, so we are at 32451. I'm gonna save this. Uh, Alright, let's find somebody to raid. Yep, we'll have to beat this tomorrow. We'll play we'll play the couple troll levels tomorrow and then we'll we'll just start directly on to Shatterhand because I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat this level. Especially if there's no checkpoint. Suppose this whole level just goes on and on and you have to fight five bosses, five of the five of the, the five previous bosses and then you have to fight the main boss and there's just no checkpoints at all in the whole level. And I don't know, I'm kind of worried that's the case. I'm kind of worried. Solar Jetman vibes, yeah. Um, yo, let's go, let's go raid Juz Cook, who's playing StarCraft. StarCraft Remastered, I haven't seen this one in a while. Go raid Juz, uh, thank you everybody for watching, thanks for hanging out, I will see you guys tomorrow, Mario Maker 2 troll levels, and, uh, and more, you know, fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff. Have a good night. Go raid. Fails arrive. Fails arrive. There. Have a good night, everybody.